Hello everyone, I'm Miss Connie from the Lebanon Public Library. Thanks for joining me for a story. Are you ready to help me wake up the bug book bunny? All right, well, let's say those words together and we'll get him to pop out of his hat. Here we go. Book bunny, book bunny. It's time for story time to begin. Here he comes. Hello, book bunny. Can you give our friends a wave? Can you wave back to the book bunny? Are you happy they're joining us today, Book Bunny? He says, yes, he is. Well, let's just set the Book Bunny aside. He can watch us with our story today. And let's see what's inside the mystery box. You can sing with me. Mystery box, mystery box. What's inside the mystery box? Mystery box, mystery box. What's inside the mystery box? All right, let's hear some clues about what's inside the mystery box for a hint about today's story. Let's see, take the lid off. Inside the mystery box, there is a container. I'm going to shake it. It's something that a lot of animals like to eat. And I'm thinking of an animal that's very busy this time of year. They love to eat these. This is a jar of nuts. And this very busy animal is scurrying all over our yards right now. You probably see many of them if you play outside or go for a walk. This animal is a squirrel. And today we're going to hear a story called Nuts to You. But look at this. There's a hole in the cover of my book. It's a circle. Well, it's there on purpose because it's supposed to look like the squirrel peering out of a hole in a tree. Now, this squirrel in the story is very busy and he actually gets into somebody's house. We'll have to look and see how he's able to do that. And the story is called Nuts to You by Lois Ellert. She's the author and the illustrator. So she wrote the words to the story and she also did the artwork in it. See that squirrel in our tree? I think he'd rather live with me. I'll wait a while. He could be shy or maybe he likes it way up high. Look, here he comes trying to hide. He can't wait to get inside. He's in the flowers. He's really bad. He's digging up bulbs. My mom is mad. There he goes up the bricks with his claws. He steals seeds and eats them with his paws. Look at that. He scurried up the bee bird feeder pole and he's getting their food out. Walking on tiptoe, tail held high, he brushes my plants as he zips by. In our window box, watching us eat, he sits on the flowers and begs for a treat. I open my window for some fresh air, but I forgot that the screen had a tear. Uh-oh. He's going to push his way through that little screen right there with a the hole. When I came back, guess what I found? That squirrel was there looking around. So I got some nuts, ran out the door, tapped one on the sidewalk, and left a few more. Nuts to you, I shouted as loud as I could. That squirrel peeked out. I knew he would. He looked to the left. He looked to the right. He ran down the bricks and took a big bite. He ate all those nuts then scampered away. But he'll get hungry again someday. I'll keep nuts in my pocket, one or two. And when I see him, I'll say nuts to you. Look at that. That child in the story was so smart. Cracked those nuts out on the sidewalk and the squirrel ran back out of the screen, ate them, and then scampered away. Thanks, everybody, for joining me for Nuts to You. 
I'll see you the next time. Bye.